this is the CZFY African American Oh, no, it's just a yeah, African-American mannequin. So basically what this is, is you know how you normally get a normal mannequin and it has like the silky straight hair? Well, this one is like the African-American version. It's really not kinky hair, like curly and very tight. It's more like my hair, like relaxed hair, permed hair. That's what it is. And I feel like it works best because the majority of people hair is like this. Or let's say you got somebody here that's kinky. When they blow dry their hair out, it's just the same way. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and show you what this, this product. I already have one, it's right here. But because I braid so much, I got like all this hair on it, but this is what my first one looks like. Sometimes I'll have a full practice going on with this mannequin where I can't do another style and it would really help if I had to. So I just decided to buy me a second one. Um, I've been buying mannequins my whole life and this is my second time buying this one. So it's really good. So this is the box that comes in. Oh, this one is a little bit lighter than my first one. The skin tone anyway. <laughs> this is the stand. And this is the head. Oh no, it is dark. Actually, it's really dark. It's just the bottom part that's really light. It comes in this plastic bag, I guess, so the hair doesn't get all messed up. And this is what it looks like coming fresh out the bag. The hair is kind of red. It's like a brown color, actually. It looks red on camera though, but it's really brown and it feels really good. This is how long the hair is. You can do whatever you want with it. It's human hair. You can curl the hair. You can put heat to it. You can dye it. You can do whatever, honestly, you want to it. Part it, wet it, wash it, everything. Uh, this is what my first one looked like. These, This is my first one. This is the second one. They don't look alike, but they got like the same head shape. Nope, they don't look nothing alike. <laughs> they don't look nothing alike. This one got makeup on. This one is just like... So this is the stand it comes in. I had it the first time I, I got this. So this is... This will be how you put it together. So this is the stand. This is what goes on your table. You twist it down and you basically wedge this into your table. So imagine you put your table here and you know, a little square space here and then you just tighten it up so it can wedge there really, really tight and it won't move. You put this in first, I think. <laughs> and then this goes on top and you screw it on. And depending on how tight you screw it on will be based on how you want the, the head to move. If you had mannequins before, they're, all the stands are the same. You guys know the drill with it. There, nothing really changes. I'm gonna show you how I put it on the table so it can stand there. All right, so this is the table. And basically, and I'm just gonna do exactly what I said. I'm gonna untwist this here. And wedge it between the table. And as long as you twist it far enough that you can get the the wedge in there, it's fine. And then once it's in, you just tighten it real tight so it'll never move. You don't have to unscrew this all the way down. It's not necessary. You'll be screwing all day. And then I'll just take the mannequin head and sit it right on top. It doesn't really pull off unless you put in a lot of force because it's kind of it's kind of like a uh, friction in, inside there where it doesn't pop off easily but it did a little bit of force will get it off all right so now that the mannequin is on i'm going to tighten it so it doesn't move it's still moving hold on and put it on and here's my comb i can do styles you see it won't move now you can't really like start pulling at it and like pulling its hair and thinking it's not gonna move from the stand cause it will, but it holds it there a long, a good enough that you can get a style in or if you need to hold its place. And then you don't wanna be all rough, especially if you're using this to practice, you don't wanna be rough because you're dealing with somebody's hair in real life. So of course you gotta be gentle, so. But if you pull in the hair and trying to get it off, then it's gonna move. See, it didn't even hardly move then, but <laughs> there we go, it moved. But the hair feels really good. I just want to play in it all day. All right, so that is everything with this mannequin. I do highly recommend that you guys purchase this. It's really good for practice, especially if you want to practice braids. Uh, this mannequin over here, I got braids in her hair over here, some butterfly locks, some knotless braids, some regular individuals. I got a uh, giant knotless Thing. so I did everything in this mannequin and then as you can see so you can practice 
pretty much anything on these heads as long as you have the stand there and even if you don't have a stand you just put it between your legs but this when you purchase these heads they come with the stand every single time it's never going to be a time where it doesn't come with it so hope you guys enjoyed that review